only more concept revision video you will ever need. All important formulas in minimum time. Let's get started with the first one. The first formula is specific gravity. So it is the density of a substance divided by the density of water at 4 degrees Celsius. And you know what? The density of water at 4 degrees Celsius is actually 1. Specific gravity is nothing but it is the density of substance just calculated with respect to the density of water. Second is molecular weight. It is twice of vapor density. Calculation the number of mole. So it is given weight of solute or given weight of any species whose mole you want to calculate. So given weight divided by atomic or molecular weight. If the volume is given for any gas, so it is a given volume of the gas divided by the molar volume. And please make sure that molar volume, whatever you're putting here is at the right temperature because sometime in the questions, they might have given 273 Kelvin or maybe 298 Kelvin. Make sure your molar volume is also for the right temperature. Then if it is about number of particles, maybe these many particles of solute are given. So number of particles divided by the Avogadro number. This is how you calculate the number of holes. Next is fourth one. Molarity. Now very important formula. Molarity. Molarity is denoted by capital M. It is the number of mole of solute divided by the volume of solution in liters. Make sure it is a volume of solution in liters. Then molality. It is denoted by small m. It is the moles of solute divided by the weight of solvent in kilogram. Not solution. Solvent. Now molality is temperature independent. Why? Because if you change the temperature, neither the mole nor the weight of the solvent will change. But molarity or any concentration term that depends on volume will change with temperature because as you change the temperature, things expand. The volume changes. Any concentration term that has volume component will always be temperature dependent. So molarity is temperature independent. Now this is the formula where you can use molarity to calculate molality. Molality is equal to 1000 into molarity divided by 1000 into density minus molar molarity into molecular weight of solute. So this W is what? This W is molecular weight of solute. Next one, moving on to the formula number six, mole fraction. Mole fraction of any species is equal to its number of mole divided by total number of mole. You can calculate mole fraction for solute or maybe solvent. Maybe there are four components and you want to calculate the mole fraction for one component. So it will be number of mole of that component divided by the total number of mole of all the four components. Okay. So in the total mole, you have to mention the total mole in the entire mixture. Seventh one, weight by weight percentage or what you say is mass percentage. Mass percentage is the weight of solute upon weight of solution. So the first term is always about the solute and second term is always about the solution. So weight by weight means weight of solute divided by weight of solution. If it is volume by volume percentage and it is volume of solute divided by volume of solution into 100 and if it is weight by volume, I told you first term is about solute and second term is about solution. Okay, so it is the weight of solute upon volume of solution into 100. These are very important formulas. Okay, so total nine formulas. Tenth one PPM parts per million. In parts per million, students get confused. Sir, is it number of particles upon total particles or mass upon total mass? It can be calculated in either way. Either you can write solute particles upon total particles into 10 raised to power 6 or solute mass divided by total mass into 10 raised to power 6 or solute volume divided by total volume into 10 raised to power 6. Make sure if you're taking particles for the solute, you have to divide by the total particles because PPM has no units. Units must be cancelled, right? Whatever term you are taking in the numerator, same thing you have to take in denominator also. Either it is particles upon particles, mass upon mass or volume upon volume. So if you multiply by 10 raised to power 6, that gives you PPM. And if you multiply by 10 raised to power 9, that gives you PPB, parts per billion. But that is not very commonly used term. Formula number 11, equivalent weight. Equivalent weight is equal to atomic or molecular weight divided by n factor. Now, sir, what exactly is this n factor? But so this n factor for element is equal to valency. Okay, like magnesium has a valency of two, aluminum has a valency of three, right? So like that. So for element, it is a valency. For salt, it is either you can say the cationic charge or the anionic charge because salt will have positive charge is equal to negative charge. So either you can take cationic or anionic charge like CaCl2. 
So what is the cationic charge? So plus two. So what is the n factor for this? Two. What about sir AlCl3? What is the cationic charge? Sir plus three. So n factor is plus three, right? For acids, that is equal to basicity. Yes. What is the basicity? It is the number of H positive that can be donated by one molecule. You can say number of H positive. Donated by one molecule. Like HCl, it gives only one H positive. H2SO4, it gives two H positive per molecule. H3PO4, it gives three H positive per molecule. So for acid, the number of H positive that can be donated per molecule it is the number of basicity or the n factor. For the base, it is the acidity. What is the acidity? Number of OH negative it can donate, or maybe number of H positive it can absorb. You can simply write number of OH negative donated by one molecule and for redox reactions reactions where oxidation and reduction are taking place simultaneously n factor is the number of electrons exchanged per molecule wealth normality it is the number of equivalents of solute upon volume of solution in liters like we calculated molarity number of mole upon volume normality is number of equivalents upon volume normality is equal to n factor into molarity so if you already know the molarity and you know the n factor for that species, you can directly calculate normality. And similarly, number of equivalents is equal to n factor into number of mole. You know the number of mole, multiply by n factor and you get the number of equivalents. Fifteenth, molarity into volume is number of mole. But how? Look, molarity is number of mole of solute upon volume. So molarity into volume is number of mole. But be very careful. If you take volume in liters only, then you get number of mole. Most of the time in questions, we are given volume in milliliters. When you're taking volume in milliliters, it will give you number of millimoles, not the moles. So make sure you are not making this mistake. Dilution. Whenever we are diluting something, we are just adding more solvent. Okay. So suppose we have this solution initially. The molarity is M1, volume is V1. Now I am adding more solvent. So the number of solute particles are not going to change because I am only adding solvent. Okay. So in the dilution, moles of solute are conserved. So moles of solute before dilution is equal to moles of solute after dilution. You can write M1 V1 is equal to M2. Then calculating the percentage of any component is weight of that component divided by either the molecular weight or the total weight into 100. Volume strength of H2O2 solution. It is 5.6 into normality or 11.2 into polarity. So these were the 18 most important formulas. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and let us know in the comment section. What are your views? What more amazing videos you want on this channel? Okay, so stay tuned. Keep smiling.